Hi, this is Ahmed Alugaili and Manos Brilakis presenting case 240 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case illustrating use of the parallel wiring technique. The patient was a young woman who had presented with anterior ST elevation myocardial infarction, successfully stented, had mildly reduced ejection fraction, and was found to have a CTO of the right coronary artery, and was referred for stage PCI to achieve complete revascularization. This is a dual injection. We see that the previously placed end in the LAD is well expanded. There is a CTO of the distal right coronary artery that's fairly short. There may be actually a microchannel in the lesion. And uh, the distal vessel has some diffuse disease. The distal cap is proximal to the bifurcation of the PDA and the PLV. And there are some septal collaterals that could be used for retrograde crossing as well as some epicardial collaterals. Based on the favorable characteristics, the tapered entry, the relatively short length, we decided to go with undergrade wiring first, followed by parallel wiring and ADR if uh, the initial approach failed to be successful. So we started first with a standard microcatheter, a Corsair, and a filter XTA guide wire. However, the wire went into the extra plug position, as we can see from the retrograde crossing. And this was a little frustrating because we were hoping or expecting that the wire would have gone into the distal true lumen. So never plan for the best, but it's always good to prepare for the not best scenario. So the options here are to either do ADR or use another wire, the parallel wire technique, or to actually just pull back the wire and redirect. In this particular case, we decided to leave the filter XTA wire in place and then try to do the parallel wiring technique. And the parallel wiring technique is best performed by putting another microcaster over the second guide wire and using a more penetrating torqueable guide wire, such as the Gaia family of wires, to wire in a different plane compared the, to the original guide wire. The actual original guide wire serves as a marker of where not to go and which direction to advance the second guide wire. And in this case, the Gaia X2 seemed to go in the right direction. This is a contralateral injection. And here we can see that the second wire, the Gaia X2, is it in the true lumen. And we also advance it during the injection, confirming that the guide wire is moving freely inside the distal RCA and the PDA. So the patient underwent successful standing with a nice final result. So now she did have a complete revascularization of both the LAD and the right coronary artery. So in summary, this is a simple case, but illustrates that although sometimes you may expect things to go very smoothly, in this case, it seemed to be a fairly favorable CTO, and the hope was that the wire would just easily go into the distal true lumen. The wire instead went into the extra plug position. You're going to be prepared about the options when this happens. And the options, again, are either redirect the original wire or leave it in place and use a parallel wiring technique or do undergrade dissection reentry with a stingray um, balloon. In this case, we decided to use the parallel wire technique. We left the first wire in place and went with the second um, penetrative uh, torqueable wire, the Gaia X2, that successfully crossed into the distal true lumen. Arguably, this was uh, less costly and easier than using undergrade dissectionary entry. Redirection could have happened as well, but the polymer jacket wire may be a little more likely to cause dissection or hematoma. Thank you.